case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1959 Supreme Court case, Clores Inc. v. Broadway Hail Stores Inc., the central question was whether it was against the law for businesses to collaborate in ways that harm competition or limit a competitor's ability to buy and sell goods. Clores Inc. filed a lawsuit against Broadway Hail Stores Inc and 10 national manufacturers and distributors, accusing them of monopolizing the sale of household appliances and causing significant losses for Clores. Despite not denying the allegations, the district court dismissed the case, stating that it did not violate the Sherman Act, a decision subsequently upheld by the Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The Supreme Court was then asked to determine if it was legal for merchants to work together to prevent a competitor from obtaining necessary items without violating the Sherman Act. Ultimately, the Supreme Court reversed the Court of Appeals' decision and sent the case back to the district court for trial. They held that the allegations in the complaint were sufficient. The respondents' affidavits did not constitute a defense and emphasized that the Sherman Act prohibits all monopolistic contracts and combinations, regardless of the size of the victim. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.